11 years on Modern Family, leaving the San Fernando Valley, going to 20th Century Fox. Some days could be 30 minutes, some days could be an hour, but I thought uh, you would enjoy what is now my commute to work uh, here in Kansas City to, the, to, to Jolly Ridge. By the way, you can't go to Jolly Ridge without the old Jolly Ridge hat. There we go. Match. What do you think? It looks good. You'll have folks come out like this for the the team here. Yeah, try to do like the taco truck or something like that, uh, or lunch or shave ice is very popular. Thank you. Of course. Um, very good. This is healthy, right? Isn't it good? Yes. Yeah, it yes. is. It's not bad for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Straight sugar>. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys divide and conquer? I would say that a lot of it is, there's a lot of spaces he's just like, he trusts that I'm gonna make a good decision. Like he doesn't care what faucet goes in the guest bathroom. Uh -huh. But I do. Right. So he's fine with me letting, letting me make that, that choice. We were kind of on the same place with what we wanted but I wanted it to feel very accessible and comfortable. I wanted people to walk in, and I know this sounds a little tacky, but I wanted people to walk in and think like, wow, this guy's really done well for himself, and he doesn't care if I put my feet on the coffee table. We have intention with everything, and we want people to walk in and feel comfortable. Let's walk to the back in here. Feel how quiet it is right there? It's so quiet. He has a room to snore in where he won't disturb me sleeping. <laughs> oh. And it's all soundproof. So how, how big of a snorer is he? He claims he's not. I would claim he is. Hold on, stand out there. Okay. All right, okay. Gee, can you hear that? This. Yeah, sure can. Okay, well, we need more insulation. Okay. <laughs> I know the things that are important to him in the house. He knows the things that I'm passionate about in the house and we kind of, it balances. You yeah, know? what was the one thing you gave in on? So I would like the kitchen to be clean and not cluttered and beautiful. And he would love it if it looked like a commercial grade kitchen and he had every piece of equipment in the world. I hate going into houses where it feels like the kitchen isn't used because two things. A, it means I'm probably not gonna get a good meal here. <laughs> I'll probably move on to someplace else. And B, it, it doesn't feel like welcoming. Like I want somebody to walk into our house and feel like, holy shit, if he, if I wanted to, grilled cheese sandwich with whatever, bacon. I'll bet you he's got it all here and he could make it. Like, how great is that to walk into a house and feel as though you can have whatever you want? So we have to find the balance <laughs> of, those two, of having a clean space, but also slightly a diner. Uh, product in the house from like all over the the country. Well, yeah, and that's part of the whole Instagram, TikTok, uh, building a house, like so many things. Once you start searching it, it's been super helpful for us to find the wood on our house we found because of Instagram, uh, the beams inside the house we found because of Instagram. Um, but this cabin is where the house all started. So the show, there's a show called Barnwood Builders been a fan of forever and always dreamed of having a log cabin, but I always thought I would get like a smokehouse, a pioneer smokehouse. Then once we started here, I told Lindsay, I'm like, I'd like to get a log cabin and then build the house around it. She's like, mm -hmm, I'm sorry, he's come again. <laughs> so this was a one room schoolhouse in Scottstown, Ohio, and that, that sat there from they think 1865 to when they tore it down. And so this is uh, my TV room. Come on in. cool process. They take it down with a really intense labeling system, uh -huh. treat all the wood, make sure there's no damage, and then they come back and then they put it together like a puzzle like Lincoln Logs and build it back together. So you're not getting the complete beauty of it because it's covered because they just insulated and we want to protect the logs obviously. Oh but, but this it, it's neat seeing it as it's progressing. Yeah. I mean the detail of the brick. This was really a passion part for Eric. So some of these brick are from the old streets of Manhattan, Kansas where K-State is. Some are from the stockyards of Kansas City. Uh, some are random ones we found on eBay that have cool things written on them. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I see uh, Pittsburgh Buffalo. Yep. yep. There's some here. This is one of my favorite ones. These just have three stars on them. 
my little version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame right here. And then this porch was a late add-on because we realized during the planning process we didn't have a way out of our primary master or our primary bedroom. And so we said, well, we better add a porch. And then I realized I didn't have a place to pee before I went to bed. So we added this porch so I can Because why wouldn't he pee outside every night? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> My dad, save a, save a dime. <laughs>
you know, they could be out here for a couple days and never get seen. Well, by and you that's guys. what I hope that they want to do. Right. You know, as they get older, their friend group will be like, "Bro, let's go camp at yeah your back campground." So tell me about this space. Well, it all started with that tree. We were hiking back here and and. Uh, this wasn't accessible and we come down this hill and we see this hill, this tree, and this is a, uh, we believe a linden tree. And it's one tree that when it grew had nine trunks. So we thought, well, we got to feature that tree. And so we kind of cleared this out and we found all these trees that were already down and cut them into benches and here we are. I always thought if I ever decide to challenge the King Graham in talk shows, this is where I would do my talk show right here. I'd build a little gazebo here, you know, a little, put some electricity and campfires at Jolly Ridge. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Hey, do, do you think you're going to do it at some point? Settle down. I'm, I'm not coming after you. <laughs> it's fine. You're going to be fine. You're very successful. Your show's great. It's very, very good. No, I don't know. I thought about it. I thought it would be really cool to... Super unique. Have, you know, fly someone in, really show them a good time. One, just give them one night in Kansas City and then, you know, a uh, uh, talk show right around around here talking about everything but what you'd think we'd be talking about. Like your show. People have always said like, oh, you would have been a good talk show host. It's like, I don't know that I can pretend to care. Well, then you just book people that you care that's to true. talk to. Yeah, that's true.